with the war came, everything went out the door. Um, it was Sunday morning on December the 7th, 1941. We didn't have a radio, but my friends had a radio, and he called me up Sunday morning and said, Hey, Japan is at war. They bombed Pearl Harbor. So I, I would say that in general, I found that uh, the professors were very, very sympathetic. I remember um, my physics professor, one of my f favorite subjects, because um, I think I was the only one that got 100% in the lab. Um, he really strongly encouraged me to carry on study, regardless of where I end up. Of course, he didn't know where I was going to end up. But uh, there were many you know, people that encouraged me. And as I said, I felt no prejudice. Canada had bridged North, North, North American Act, but no constitution. And there was no civil rights, uh, no, human, uh, no rights per se. Uh, so when they told me I had to go to a road camp, I said, no, I'm not going to a road camp. First of all, I said, I'm Canadian born. I've sworn my allegiance to the crown. I see no reason why I have to move from the coast. But I certainly am not going to a road camp because I consider that as a slave labor camp where you're a forced to go you don't you can't bargain for your remuneration because they sell a fixed very low you know i think like 25 cents or less you know and uh you're guarded and you're by the mounties i said that's a slave labor camp not work work camp it's a little better than the chain gangs in the states but not much so as soon as I said that, is my, the Mounties came, picked me up, took me over to the immigration building, and turned me over to the military. For me, it's a closure to an open-ended situation. Because here I was going to university, I was going to get my degree, I was going to start my life that way, and it was disrupted. You know? And having not completed the university degree, I said, I'm not sure whether I'm part of the alma mater or not. Okay? Uh, for me, this gesture, because I said, professionally and, and uh, economically, does absolutely nothing for me. You know, I'm 90, it doesn't mean anything, it doesn't do anything for me, both either as a profession or as a financial, because I'm out of that now, I'm retired 20 odd years. But what it does mean to me is that the university has opened its arm and said, come back, you're part of our group, our alma mater. It, you know, it's like saying, come on home. Because all these years, in my reference to education, UBC was my last school, the last place of education that I attended. So I say I'm from UBC. And in that way, I'm, I'm very grateful. When I first heard of it, you know, it took about five, 10 minutes to sink in. And I was really ecstatic about it because finally, University is saying, irrespective of what the conditions and circumstances, you know, we are now prepared to make sure that you are part of our alma mater, you're part of our university organization. Belated, possibly. Under pressure, maybe. But still, those effects. They've now welcomed me back into their arms. That's the way I feel about it.